So hello everyone. I'm Shreyas. I'm a software development engineer. So uh, we are starting with this Lead Code Premium Top Interview Problem Series. We'll be discussing each and every problem which are mentioned on the Lead Code Top Interviews, and also this will help you to crack your next coding interview in the top-notch product-based company. So let's start with the first problem. So the first question belongs to the easy to medium category that is to some it's a very classical and a very famous problem. So let's look at the problem statement. Oh, I'll just zoom in my screen a bit. Yeah. So the problem says that we are given a group of integers, an array of integers and a target. We have to return the indices of the two numbers such that they pair up to a target. So let's take this example and try to visualize what is the problem saying yeah <clears throat> okay so let's say we have been given two three five and seven uh this is our array arr that is given to us and we have been given a target that is equal to nine let's say and we need to find two numbers such that the sum of x plus y is equal to target so we need to return the indices of this number so the brute force approach will be we'll firstly we'll take up a number and look for the remaining amount this y in the whole array but this approach will take o n square time so we try to optimize that further so we can do it using hash map and two pointers method so in this video we'll look at this approach so it's a very intuitive and a very nice approach uh, that we can use so let's start with the two pointer method uh, so we have been given this array and this is the target so the target is nice so what we can observe that this array is sorted so if it is sorted uh, we can directly use it if it's not sorted we'll just apply the sort function to the array cool and the two pointer method is like we use two pointers i and j which are pointed towards the start and the end indexes and we try to find pairs by adding both of them means in the first iteration we'll look for uh, 7 plus 2 sum and we'll check that if it is equal to the target or not so if it is equal we'll return true and we'll store the indices and we'll give it the uh, give us the answer and if it's not the case then if this sum is less than then we know that we have to move we have to add some more value so we move our left pointer towards the right side and if we have certain value let's say if the target was somewhat like 16 then we would have moved the this pointer towards this side cool or let's say it will be any value which is constituting of some certain target that is lesser than the sum is coming less than the target so we are we are, we'll just move this pointer towards the left side so let's try to code it down and it will give you a more clearer understanding of what the problem is saying so this is the array nums is given to us and let's let's make a pair vector cool uh, in which we'll store all the information required so this will be a pair int int cool uh, v yeah and uh, we'll just insert all the elements inside it uh, it's nums dot size yeah i plus plus we'll just we do v dot push back and nums comma i we are just we are storing the indices and the value with the help of this loop cool now we are as i discussed we need to sort it so it will be sorted 
now v dot end this is done good now we declare two pointers that is i and uh, j as we discussed this will be minus one cool and we have declared two indexes that will store the indices for us idx2 is equal to zero cool now let's loop over the statement this is less than j yeah and we'll check for that if this dot first plus v of j of first is equal to is equal to target then what we'll do we'll this is the thing that we were looking for we'll just store our in answer i of i dot second and uh, we'll just do it for idx2 and this will be j cool so this will be the answer and we'll just break out of the loop so if it is not the case what we'll do we'll just shift our pointers towards right and left respectively so let's say this is less than target so we'll just do an i plus plus to grab a greater value and here we'll do a j minus minus and finally and uh, finally we'll return idx1 comma idx2 so that's it so sorting will take log n time complexity and uh, n log n and this will also take so the overall type uh, this will take a big of n so the overall time complexity will be 50 will be big o of n log n oh. ah. big o. The space complexity will be uh, big of and constant. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So we'll run this code. This will run fine. Yeah. It's accepted. So this was the implementation of this problem. Hope you have understood it. Make sure you submit it.